Okay, so here is another application of compounded or compound interest. And it says, how long will it take 400,000 pesos to triple its value if it is earning an interest at an annual rate of 6% compounded continuously? Okay, so since the type of compound interest is continuously, we'll be using the formula for the amount will be equal to the principal and then e to the rate times time so we know that the initial amount the p is equal to 400,000 and we want to find the t so what is the time when the value of p is already times 3 so we want to find what is t when the a is already 3 times 400,000 or simply 1,200,000. Okay. So using the formula so when the amount is 1,200,000 so principal is the same 400,000 then E then the rate is at 6% so times 0 0.06 and then we want to find the missing time working on the equation so we have to divide by 400,000 because we want to find this so 400,000 so obviously this will go back to 3, then no more 400,000 e to the point zero six t. Now this is an exponential equation and the variable is in the exponent. So we have to work on this through ln or natural logarithms. So I'll take the ln of both sides, so ln 3 equals ln of e to the point zero six t. I need to use ln so that I can use the property that the exponent of the expression e under a logarithm can be written in this way and then you have ln e that is why we needed to use ln now ln has a value equal to 1 so the ln e is just 1 so 0.06t times ln e is the same as 0.06t times 1. So anything multiplied to 1 will be the same. So this is 0.06t, then ln 3 is still ln 3. Okay, now, so if you can see it, to solve for t, all we need to do is to divide by 0 0.06 on both sides. And that will cancel 0 0.06. So the t is basically ln3 over 0 0.06. So to finally solve for t, you just need to compute this value. So you can find this value through your cal calculator. So we have ln3 divided by 0 0.06. This will give us about... 18.31 so 18.31 so approximately the 400,000 principal value will triple itself or its value after 18 years approximately okay 18.31 so approximately this is 18 years so we just end with the answer to the question so we have 18.31 so the answer must be about 18 years okay it will take 18 years to triple the value 400,000 okay so some uh, notes important notes in approaching this problem our keyword was actually continuously the word continuously this gave us the idea that the formula to be used is a equals p e to the rt. 
If you remember, there's a different formula to be used for other compound interest problems that are not compounded continuously. Okay? Essential also is on how we use logarithm whenever we want to find a value in the exponent. We need to use logarithm so that we can bring down the variable in the exponent. Okay? The rest will be just through the manipulation of the equations that you have. Okay? And in the end, just take note of what you get and try to, to see if your answer makes sense. Okay? So this is 18.31. So we want to have it in, in years. So you can just approximate 18.31 into 18 years okay that's it I hope everything is clear again if you find it or if you find some parts of it to be confusing it, it can help if you try to watch the video again and try to understand how the steps were done okay that's it